In this video, I am going to show you how you can locally install Instant ID large language model on your local system. Instant ID is one of the most popular large language models at the moment on Hugging Face leaderboard. If you look at this model, this model is a new state of the art tuning tree method to achieve ID preserving generation with only single image supporting various downstream tasks. There are a lot of use cases which you can think of once you deploy this model. I have done another video where I go into way more detail into the architecture and also a demo of this model on live on the Hugging Face space and I'll drop the link in video's description. But for this one, let's see how you can get it installed locally. I'll be using my trusted Ubuntu system for it and as you can see on your screen, I'm using Ubuntu 22.04. The first thing we need to do, we need to install some of the prerequisites. So let's clear the screen. And these are all the prerequisites which we need to install, which includes diff users, inside phase, open CV, transformers, accelerate and ONX runtime. Run let's get them installed. So that's done. Let me clear my screen. Next thing we need to git clone the instant ID github repo. If you don't have this URL, don't worry. All you need to do is to go to instant IDs github repo. This one, click on the screen button and grab this URL by clicking on this copy URL and then simply go back to your system. And from there, just to git clone and that URL and it is going to clone it in the local repo. So let's wait for it to finish. The repo is cloned as you can see. Let's go into this instant ID. Let's clear the screen. And these are all the folders you will get with it. Let's clear it. Now, all the prerequisites are done. We have cloned the repo and we are now in the root of this repo, which means the root path of this repo. Now let me fire up my Python interpreter to download the models. First thing you need to do is to use Hugging Face Hub's download li uh, library to download these models. So the first model I'm going to use is the control net model. Let me do it. And there you go. So that's done, which has downloaded the checksum. Let's also download it safe tensors, the checkpoint local directory. So you can see it is around 2.5 gig. Let it download and make sure that you have plenty of space on your local system. Okay, that's done. And now let's load the checkpoints, which is IP dash adapter. Let's wait for it to finish. And the next model we need to download is uh, Antelope V2. But the problem is that it's not available uh, from the command. So we would have to download it manually. I already have downloaded it um, because the URL given on the GitHub repo is strong. So you would need to go to this site from there. Just go to this Google Drive, download it manually from this, which is free. You don't have to even sign up and then upload it to your server. And let me show you where you will put it. So as we are in this directory, in the GitHub repo, let's go to models, CD. Okay, so there is no model directory, we would need to create it. So just to here, make directory models, then CD to models. And as I said, I already have downloaded it on my local system. Let's copy it here. Now unzip is. And that is going to unzip it. It is around, I guess, 400 gig of size. Let's ls it. Let's delete this zip file. We don't need it. So that is what we need to do. So sorry, there was a lag in showing that terminal window. So I'll just repeat. So what I did was, I just created a models directory in the GitHub repos root here. Then I cd to that models directory. I copy 
the zip file to this local and then I have unzipped it and then from there I have simply removed this zip file so as you can see now we just have anti uh, antelope v2 model in our models directory and then let's go back to our root and that is good now let's fire up our python interpreter again okay so we have downloaded the checkpoints and all the models now and now let's import the diffuser into our python that's done now let's also load the load image from diffuser that is also done let's also grab the control net model library from this diffuser that is done we can ignore this and now let's import few of the other libraries such as opencv numpy torch and pillow which we installed in the first step if you remember so these are all the ones which we have done let's also load the face analysis module that is done and now let's get our stable diffusion pipeline and the plugins that is also done and now let's prepare our antelope model which we have already downloaded manually so as you can see that it has found it and it is applying it locally which is good let's prepare it with the app.prepare command that's, that's also done now let's give it the adapter which we downloaded that is done also let's specify the control net path which we downloaded from hugging face and now let's load the control net and the command to load control net is this which we need to run and you can see that that is also done and now let's run our stable diffusion pipeline with this function where we are specifying our control net torch d type and the stable diffusions base model and you can see that it is loading all the tensors and all the stuff and this is uh, going to be take a bit of a time because you can see that there are a lot of files it is loading and the tensors are a bit big like 10.3 gig and 2.7 2.7 so let's wait for it to finish and make sure that you have plenty of space on your local system it's quite a huge model as you can see hopefully it will fit on my gpu but anyway if it, even if it fails at least we would know the steps to load it so if you have a beefy system feel free to follow these steps to run it but let's see so the model got downloaded and then i have done pipe.cuda which is going to use my gpu and the last step here is to load ip adapter so let's run it it is going to load our face adapter which we loaded earlier that is done so that is a full installation of um, this model now let me try out uh, as uh, the image manipulation with it let's first load the image and the command to do is just simply image is equal to load image and then specify the path to your image so for example my image is not jpg i guess okay let me double check my image name that seems correct let me load it and from there you would okay i missed one of the face info so just type face info here and then use open cv from python to do the cvt color so that was done and then you can also sort it and you can see that sorting is also done and then you can grab the face embeddings by simply running this and also the plugin with face kps that is also done and then set the adapter with the pipe and now you can specify your prompt for example you can just say analog film photo of a man let me properly give it a big one maybe so now you can see that i'm i have specified these prompts here so the prompt is simply what i want the image to be and then from there i have specified the negative prompt which i don't want this image to be that it shouldn't be of low quality it shouldn't be ugly mutated and all that stuff and then in the end used 
this pipe command with all the embeddings and plugins and the control net thing which we downloaded above to generate the image and it will store in this R image and you can see that it is in progress here it is running and there are 50 steps which it will do and then it should generate the image sometime it, I have seen it taking long time so don't worry about it it is almost done okay so all done and it has generated the image and let me show you the image in the browser which it has generated on the basis of my own face I'll show you both of them side by side and this is the result on the left hand side was the original one and then it but it generated um, which we just installed so that's it guys I hope that you enjoyed it uh, it is pretty cool uh, but I would say that uh, still it needs to do a lot of things around uh, you know installation because it takes a lot of time maybe a reduced size will be great but I think that is uh, what actually generates all the quality and stuff but anyway very impressed by the model really good quality let me know your thoughts what do you think share it in the comments and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network thanks for watching